So um, here's how you can find us. Uh, we're on, uh, this is our kind of social media and I've, hopefully many of you have checked out our website, which is down at the bottom of the screen. I would suggest if you haven't done so to actually go scroll down and hit the publications tab, a little dot there. You can actually get a sense of the student work on that publications tab that gives you a real uh, sense of the, you know, the kinds of interactions you'll be having with each other and the faculty. So um, here we are. Um, these are this is our contact info. Um, I uh, uh, you can see our emails below. Um, also, not on the call today, but someone that you'll be having um, a lot of great interaction with is our uh, professor Emmanuel Admasu. Uh, introducing him as well because he will be your uh, fall studio coordinator, um, and he's an architect, uh, urban designer, and artist. Uh, and uh, is just a fabulous teacher leading the fall studio. So uh, you'll be interacting with the three of us quite a bit uh, in the program. So, so first wanted to just talk to you about Columbia at, in the broadest possible sense of the word. This is a image of our campus. Uh, this is Lowe Library uh, and the famous uh, steps of Lowe Library. Uh, Bianca and uh, Dee and Rhea can all attest that you know, right now it's, you know, starting to get a little bit warmer. The second that the weather warms up, this entire plaza is filled with, you know, plants and like people hanging out on the, on the south facing steps. Uh, and it's really the heart of the Columbia campus at Morningside. And our building, Avery Hall, you can see right here to the right behind it, uh, just tucked behind this very large tree. So this is a sort of a snapshot of your, your daily life uh, in Manhattan. Uh, when you come here. So this is a, a zoom into our, our building, Avery Hall. This entire building used to be a library, and now it consists of uh, a library offices and classrooms. And so actually Avery and then the cluster of buildings in its immediate um, environs are all connected underground. And so our um, urban design studio is in the building just immediately behind this. Uh, but you'll have many of your classes here in Avery Hall um, and get to take full use of this world renowned library. Um, too many, too many students are just looking at Google these days, but when you come to Columbia, you truly have to take advantage of this incredible resource. Um, our program office is up on the fourth floor. Uh, and so, and we also have a full time, you know, administrator available to help you with any kind of, of question. So what is the urban design program and what do we study? It's a post-professional degree program. So to be admitted, you'll have a degree in architecture, landscape architecture, or planning. Uh, so you have a little bit of a head start on, uh, on, on, on many things. Um, and the goal is to take a, a full calendar year in three intensive semesters to engage the complex processes of global urbanization uh, with a particular uh, focus on the climate crisis and, and issues of social justice. And so um, we also try to ask, what is the agency of design in these shifting conditions? And I think the students can attest to, we're trying to really push the boundaries of urban designer as advocate, urban designer as a choreographer of you know, larger scale, uh, 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 larger scale initiatives and forms of urban change. Uh, and, um, and so we, you know, look at the city not as a kind of a fixed zone, but really as this gradient of inhabited landscapes, productive landscapes that are supported by networks of energy resources, capital, uh, and of course, which intentionally or not produces social inequality. So we really try to look at Design is an activist tools-based project um, and also a kind of a critical look at, at urban systems and forms. These are some of the bigger kind of looks at uh, what we try to encourage that you to learn and how to address these challenges. We're really advancing systems thinking. Uh, we're really trying to not um, shy away from the complexity of urban systems. And we encourage our students to try to develop ways of representing and communicating that complexity. We're driven by engagement and, and uh, interaction with, uh, with uh, people on the ground. Uh, we have a, a whole seminar and, and a lot of studio work devoted towards forms of engagement and interaction with communities. We really see design as kind of part of this co-creation process. 
and we are actively collaborative. We have a strong focus on storytelling, narrative building, and visualization. Your summer semester, for example, will have uh, a lot on history theory, but also telling stories and interviewing people, learning about uh, uh, how people define their their neighborhoods and 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 how to build narratives to try to push uh, an urban design um, transformation. And then we are, you know, very much um, driven in. Um, a, a history of, of a very strong humanitarian ethos. This is a snapshot of a kind of a review, if you will, a typical design review. And I include this, uh, well, there's uh, 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 some of our, you know, the faculty that you'd be interacting with, Nans Voran, Sagi, uh, who are our co-leaders uh, uh, of the summer studio, for example. And I include this just to say that um, urban design at Columbia is a design program. It, um, it is not planning, you know, the results of your work in the studio semester will not be, you know, written reports, so to speak, they will be design uh, um, concepts and design projects, as you can see here on on the wall. And also the, the you know, the students presenting also are a great kind of just window into what the, the, the student body is like. So from moving from left to right, we have a student from uh, uh, Italy, uh, Turkey, Philippines, and uh, I, I believe um, um, Ecuador. So we also very much go out in the community in New York City. We see New York City as our uh, learning lab and teaching lab. This is a picture I took from one of my seminars where I took students out. Uh, you can see the drawing in the foreground to uh, in the streets of Manhattan to understand what Lower Manhattan is doing relative to uh, coastal resilience and uh, the uh, transformation of the city at the water's edge relative to reacting to and uh, Superstorm Sandy, which is a hurricane that hit our region, and then also how we're projecting forward. So we really see New York City as our learning lab. And so we're learning from the designers here. We're, we're out on boats, we're in the neighborhoods, we are um, really um, bringing that work back to Avery Hall. This is an image of Ware Lounge, one of the classrooms where in this case, we transformed it into an exhibit uh, about the spring studio work uh, at graduation time. So it's really a chance to, to um, you know, be both in New York, out in the world, and then we work uh, in Avery Hall and Fairweather uh, to kind of develop our uh, kind of urban design strategies and visions and describe them. So I'll go through our pedagogical pedagogical goals and the program structure, which I think is actually incredibly clear. We have studios and seminars. Um, and so the studios are um, um, very um, clearly sequenced in this format where you would be arriving uh, in New York City in actually just a couple of months, which is super exciting, but we launch our program in June with the first studio, which is basically one big kind of class focused on the lens of New York City with Professor Sagi Golan and Nance Baron, uh, both of whom Sagi is a senior um, uh, official in our New York City planning department and Nance is a senior designer at SCAPE. And, uh, and basically they will sort of lead you through this synthetic uh, first studio uh, that integrates design theory um, and a number of different courses. Your second studio, kind of anchor studio, is focused on the urbanized region, directed by Professor Emmanuel at Masu. And then the third is literally looking at the global scale and global cities um, and climate change. And that is directed by me. So this first semester is really looking at uh, the New York City, uh, how it works, how it's formed, and uh, the pedagogical frame, the site systems, neighborhoods, and stories. So you'll be really out um, on the ground, uh, walking around New York with your instructors, uh, meeting people, learning from how the city evolved and was formed. And here you can see a, a map of New York City in the background, that's Jamaica Bay and that's Manhattan Island. Uh, you can see a kind of a collaborative work process. And in many of your um, classes, like this one, Reading New York, New York Urbanism, it's also focused on, this is a student Donovan on the left interviewing um, a park goer. 
um, and you'll be um, uh, kind of learning how we um, think about urban design as and 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 how we uh, begin to engage community members and to interview and to learn about the city through the lens of its residents, not from a kind of abstract mapping process. You'll take that uh, work back into Avery and uh, discuss it in a wide context. And the New York, um, the, the first uh, class is really, the first studio in the summer is really one big class. And all of your coursework from, um, from, um, uh, from uh, <clears throat> software to history and theory uh, 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 is, is all integrated into one integrated um, uh, kind of tools-based learning program. And it really brings all of you, which you, you'll have degrees from different universities from all the world, kind of to a similar sort of point of beginning. The second studio semester, um, the second semester begins in September, and this studio is really focused on the lens of a larger scale regional change. Um, led by Professor Emanuel, its focus is land, property, race, ecological politics, and social infrastructure. And um, this is, uh, here are kind of two you know, views into the uh, studio, which has been called Atlanta After Property, uh, the teaching instructors and the uh, kind of pedagogical statement here on the right. Uh, and uh, the past two years, the studio has been looking and looking at Atlanta and traveling to Atlanta, which is incredible, just like New York, a kind of a laboratory for understanding new forms of urbanism um, and student work. And this semester ranges from, you know, um, kind of retrofitting uh, public spaces to uh, trying to densify, or you know, kind of um, suburban communities, but with um, a greater emphasis on social infrastructure and connectivity, uh, to uh, thinking about new forms of microeconomies, uh, and to you know other you know larger scale urban transformations. And so, as I mentioned, you can go on our, our uh, urban design web page and scroll down to studio publications, and you can get a look uh, and greater detail. To, at some of this work. And here's just some screenshots from uh, the studio design report. And obviously this is a great tool for prospective employers. And finally, before I turn it over to David to talk about the seminars, um, the third studio, which is um, what Rhea and Dee are in right now, the third and final semester uh, studio is focused on global cities uh, through the lens of climate, water, uh, informality, ecosystems, resilience, and social capital. And those topics also, you know, have to do with, you know, the suite of the teaching team and the teaching team's expertise and what they bring uh, every semester. For the past eight years, we've been conducting these studios under the lens of water urbanism, which we describe as a generative framework for urban studies that foregrounds water, site, context, people, ecosystems, and territory. And here's um, uh, uh, some of the uh, cities that we've visited in the past couple of years. And, um, and uh, from they're quite diverse from Madurai, India, to Varanasi, to Beira, Mozambique, uh, to uh, Kanta, Vietnam. And, uh, and we also are getting more ambitious linking up these cities in broader geographies. For example, we were in the, the Great Rift Valley and um, students uh, went to Tel Aviv, Addis and uh, Ababa in Ethiopia and Bera Mozambique. Not everyone went to every city, but the studio was um, uh, sort of elected to pick one of these cities and traveled. And then we uh, talked about them as a cluster. And here are two most recent ones. Um, in Belize, looking at uh, the imperiled uh, Belize barrier reef and urbanization patterns in Belize city and across the uh, chain of islands. Uh, and just some snapshots of what that experience is like for you as students uh, on the ground. So here you can see um, there's myself and Professor Gita Mehta, Professor Thaddeus Palowski, uh, some students and local officials uh, describing um, plans and, and initiatives. Uh, later in Pune, you know, this is also just a snapshot of what those trips are like. We have symposia, you know, uh, we meet and we always work with students uh, and uh, at, at our uh, kind of fellow universities 
um, and develop um, student to student exchanges. We do sketches, we present our work back, uh, and then we, we celebrate. That's the bottom right hand corner. <laughs> and here's just another snapshot into some of the student work that um, has come out of the, the spring semester. And the, the you know, trips uh, and these trips in the field, visiting activists, uh, meeting with professors, et cetera, are really uh, a highlight of, of the year. And the student work ranges from you know, the urban, uh, from the scale of the plaza, up to the scale of the territory, as I mentioned before, that was a view of Amman, Jordan, kind of a concept of some students developed. And this scale uh, was a map that student made, students made about uh, the, uh, the oncoming obsolescence of water infrastructure and the imperiled uh, kind of state of water in Jordan. I'll just flip through these because I think that that's probably enough on the spring semester. Uh, David, over to you to talk about our seminars. <clears throat> okay, hello everyone. Um, the uh, urban design program has each semester three, you have to take one of three required seminars in the fall and spring. You are also have room in your schedule to take electives, with, uh, which we encourage you to do in the school or anywhere in the university. So uh, these are recent seminars, uh, which one of, like I said, in the fall and spring, you take one of three each semester. And so uh, they cover a lot of territory, uh, a lot of subjects, a lot of approaches, whether it's public space or uh, design and difference, which is about uh, class and race, uh, resilient cities, focusing um, on, on focusing more on uh, case studies and, and examples of how cities are dealing with climate change. Uh, we have human rights uh, seminar, uh, which is taught by one of our history faculty. Uh, global street design is a kind of, um, you know, there's so many practitioners looking at the, the kind of specifics of street design, which several of our members, our faculty members actually are the writers of the, the, the US and the international codes for that. And um, uh, I teach a class on new towns and smart cities. Uh, and so there's just quite a, there's a good range and there's always something to, 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 to take. The electives, um, you'll have room in your schedule to take electives um, in the in Avery Hall as well as across the university. So there could be more software related things about uh, information modeling and data mining. Then there's more social justice and conflict urbanism related classes. Um, uh, again, continuing with the ecology seed bombs um, and then kind of more uh, uh, kind of planning and zoning type of classes. Um, there are classes at the climate school, there are classes at the Earth Institute. Um, whatever you are interested in, we encourage you to find those classes. And one of my tasks is to help you find classes because every, every semester there's new things at the university, whether it's ecology or literature or film, film stories and film uh, uh, matters from different countries. There's just great electives across Columbia University and it's a really great opportunity that we encourage everyone to um, take a look at. Uh, these are just some snaps from uh, different different classes. Uh, this is a class that I do on public space and you know, kind of contested nature of that. Uh, uh, one of our um, professors teaches again about what happens when urban design meets communities. Uh, Justin Moore teaches a, a kind of joint class where he's working with uh, students at uh, Tuskegee University at the same time, and there's a joint class, and then. Graham Shane, whose book you may know, Urban Design Since 1945, teaches a, a really interesting class on, on kind of global um, practices. And so um, this is just a, a quick look at uh, a couple of those um, seminars. And I, at any time, I can tell you about more of them. Great. So, um, um, you know, just a window into student life. I'm going to turn it over to the, the students to introduce themselves and, and Bianca as well, our recent graduate. But um, it's, uh, you know, it, it, towards the end of the, the year, we have um, an end of year show, uh, which is both an online exhibition and in some cases an installation in, in Avery Hall and Fairweather. 
Um, and so you, you get a chance to sort of see the work of all of Columbia and all of, all of GSAP, which is really great because um, we're having increasing collaborations with planning, with um, uh, um, uh, courses uh, in elsewhere, and maybe um, Dee and Rhea can talk about our work with the climate school students um, this semester. Uh, and I, I wanted to just close before I stop um, sharing and, and ask the students to say hello um, that um, a, a big part of, of the MS and urban design program at Columbia is the sort of, you know, celebration, if you will, that great work emerges in the space between people. And it's kind of a critical mindset shift to take on as you move from thinking about you know, um, practicing as solely an architect or solely as a landscape architect or solely as a planner uh, and moving into the realm of, of urban design because urban design is truly um, a kind of a larger scale project, if you will, that um, involves collaborating with communities, clients, cities, putting visions uh, forward and uh, galvanizing um, action, right? So we're designing in many ways the public realm, sometimes spaces that are forgotten or, or residual or thought of as in-between spaces. And so um, similarly, we, we do aim to um, have our students work, work in groups. The faculty is a team taught faculty and um, it's both an exhilarating and incredibly rewarding process, but it really is something that, that mirrors the complexity of the world and in advancing urban design projects uh, in, 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 in the physical environment. So it's also a, a tool that prepares you to be a leader um, once you graduate uh, and help to advance urban design uh, uh, initiatives uh, wherever you choose to practice. So I'm going to stop sharing there where I can, you can, um, if you feel comfortable, you know, putting your your camera on, you can do so. If you feel more comfortable leaving that off, that's also fine. And um, Bianca, I'm gonna turn it over to you and then Dee and Rhea. Hi everyone, I'm Bianca. I'm really excited to meet all of you guys online here. Um, I graduated last May in 2022 from the program. Um, so really exciting to be out in the real world now. <laughs> uh, currently, I'm working in the public sector. I work um, for the New York City Department of City Planning as an urban designer, uh, specifically within the Brooklyn office. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to answer any questions you guys might have. Um, and also I can provide contact information if you guys wanna email later on or anything like that. So happy to be here. Thanks. Um, Dee, why don't you go? Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Dee. Uh, and uh, I'm a current student. Uh, of the, I will be graduating very uh, shortly in May. Um, I have an architecture background um, uh, and I worked for a little bit in San Francisco. Um, so I did this move like from coast to coast. And then another thing with um, that to touch off on, on Kate about group work, it's also about connections. And uh, Bianca was my TA last semester. and. Um, I have a lot of questions and and um, Bianca is one of those connections that I still keep up with and um, interact with and ask questions. Great, Rhea. Hi, everyone. Um, so I'm also a current student in the spring semester and um, I am from India and moved here last May, graduating soon. and. Yes, happy to be here. And if there are any questions, please, please feel free to reach out. It's uh, It's been a very rewarding journey. It may feel like it's a lot in the beginning, but it feels like it's going to all pay off. So, yeah. Thank you guys for joining. Um, have a great rest of your day and see you in New York. Bye-bye. <laughs>